Alright, yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Royko64 here back again with another video. Today we're going to be playing some Toontown uh, Rewritten. This is going to be part number 17. I apologize for my voice, it's going to be a little bit uh, raspy. I still got a lot of uh, like sinus crap that's kind of been going on and it definitely has not been flushed out, so it's not. It's going to sound a little bit weird or I'm going to sound a little bit sick, but I'm good, I'm all good. So, uh, there is something that I wanted to, uh, talk about pretty early on in this video. Okay, good. 70% lawbots so I can find some double talkers. So, there is a comment that I got on a recent video that I think it would be disingenuous for me to respond in text, and so I'd like to respond in video. And so, I'll probably show, uh, I might show the actual comment on the screen, and what the theme of this video that I want to <coughs> bring across, right? is agree to disagree. <clears throat> I think that not saying any particular person, especially not saying the commenter in this case, I fully believe that the world at large is much softer than, and I shouldn't say the world, I should say particularly in the bubbles that I experience. So primarily within the United States, obviously, because I don't really travel uh, abroad that often. So what I would say about it though is, I think that people get very upset when there are things that are that people disagree upon as if there's something uh, wrong with them, right? Where <clears throat> I think in general, we should all focus more on like agreeing to disagree. So if you don't agree with the perspective of the other person, that's fine. I mean, that's to me, that's actually beautiful. I think that especially in the United States, when you disagree on something, you just agree to disagree and you move on. There's no there's no emotional rampage, there's no violence. That's fantastic. That's exactly how it should be, you know? People are always gonna disagree with each other. So <clears throat> with all that preface going in, and I didn't kill this guy. Wow, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die like immediately. With all that preface coming in, the comment says this. Hey Ben, I've been watching you for a few years and just rewatched this entire Let's Play up until this episode, smiley face. Well, first, I'd like to say thank you, I greatly appreciate that. It means a lot that you watch the videos, and I appreciate you making that uh, comment too. So they say, I love the content and I love your commentary. I'm just wondering why you think TTR including pronouns in Toon's profiles is a yikes from you. Open to hearing your POV. So, <clears throat> my uh, initial reaction to this comment right is a lot of what i experience like online and stuff too because i disagree with the overwhelming majority of sentiment that comes from like online communities in regards to these kinds of issues right so i'm going to go at face value that uh this is like a genuine question and i am assuming that this is a genuine question to get an understanding of where my perspective is and where it aligns with like this uh this thing so the last video that I had, I think it was like probably five seconds or something where I was looking at a profile. So if you go to the list now, and this is obviously added after the fact, this was not in Toontown Online, right? So, okay, it doesn't show for this person, but for some people, it shows this. <clears throat> so there's a Toon ID, which that was new for Toontown also. I think that was cool to make it so people weren't imposters. And then there's also pronouns. <clears throat> so me personally, right? Let me go through my own personal experience with this kind of stuff, and then I'll branch off into more of like a data side to it, right? Because my push is always to make people into the best people that they can be, right? <clears throat> and I think that this entire uh, push is a negative impact on society and people at large. And that's why, naturally, I am more than hesitant in terms of against it, right? I think that if it's a net negative on the human population, then why would we push it? So then I go to critical thinking and thinking, well, why is this being pushed, you know? So you can go down whatever rabbit hole or whatever you want for this, but the reality at the end of the day, I do not think that pronouns, I do not think anything like that is a net good for the world. And because of that, I'm, I'm against it being pushed in games, I'm against it being pushed in real life, and I'm especially against it being pushed kids. I think that it's extremely detrimental to their health. <clears throat> if you look at it from a mental health perspective, right, and this isn't to be per, uh, per se dismissive, it's actually the opposite. I really hope that people are healthy, happy, they have a family, they have a really successful life, and they do well in their life. And so when I see examples of people who kind of get into this, who kind of get really in, invested into this stuff, you know, with their time and with their minds, it just seems to be like a fucking black hole where <clears throat> it kind of sucks them up 
and it spits out something that obviously they're not happy with. It just makes me sad, you know? So the point that I bring across with this is not to shame anybody for what they're doing with their life. I think any consenting adult can do whatever they want. It's just you, the, the pushing onto other people is where it starts to bother me, right? I'm a very civil person. I don't like, uh, I don't like the confrontation, all that stuff. So this to me is purely responding to a comment in a way that I feel is genuine rather than resort to name calling or anything like that, you know, I, I think that that's pointless. I think the best thing we can do is have logic based arguments, or not even necessarily arguments, but discussions to explain why we think something is good and why we think something is bad and then move on uh, at the end of the day and just realize that everybody just wants, <clears throat> I guess I shouldn't say everybody, let's say 99% of the world just wants good for the rest of the world. And so the reality is that people have different perspectives and different routes to try and get to that best perspective at the end of the day. Or I shouldn't say best perspective, but they're trying to get to the best end result too, and they have a different pathway to get to that best end result. And so the only way you can truly get to that best end result is by consulting people from all different sides of the spectrum, right? And <clears throat> coming up with a solution that statistically works well for everybody. So if we want to get into the mental health side of this, right? And again, I'm not saying this is a way that's dismissive because <clears throat> I've had my own share of that kind of stuff, right? And that's why I'm actually so skeptical of this kind of unnatural push that uh, really statistically speaking, because of, just to be blunt, inability to reproduce after procedures and stuff like that are done, it can't naturally grow. It has to grow through children or through uh, kind of manipulating the brain. So the reason why I bring this up though is because I've had my own share of mental health stuff as well. I've had what would be considered depression or major depression, all of that stuff. And it's not to make things about me, but to say more so that when I say mental illness, I'm not saying it as a way of, oh, you're mentally ill. Let's, uh, let's like dismiss everything you have to say. And what you're saying is like meaningless or something. No, I'm saying the opposite. I think that there's a, there's a major mental health element to it. I think there's a major element of, uh, wanting to fit into it. I've been there as well as a kid where you feel like you're not fitting with anybody and so you do something that may not be 100% genuine to yourself in order to fit in with the rest of the population. And I see that kind of happening in mass and it makes me really sad because I imagine if I was a kid at that age, right, I would want some somebody to help lead me in the right direction to uh, make sure that I don't do something that'll permanently damage my body for the future, right? And I'm not saying that every person that gets into this kind of like ideology uh, damages themselves permanently, but if you look at how the actual treatment is, right, treatment in, in quotes, it does permanently do damage to your, your body, your soul, and stuff that you're not really going to be able to repair. And that's why, again, I go back to the statement of if you're a consenting adult, I feel as long as you're not hurting anybody else, you can do whatever you want to yourself, you know? Like, even down to, like, fucking offing yourself. I don't think that people should, right? But I don't have control over other people. I'm not going to act like I have control over other people. Or where you got to get really close to being careful is when it's something like a child or somebody whose brain is not fully developed. You got to be really careful that you're not manipulating them in some way, shape, or form. And obviously, even like Toontown, right? There are very few kids playing this game, so it's not even to say that uh, that this game is trying to not trying to like manipulate kids to think a certain way, right? But there are definitely there's got to be some kids that still play this game or something like that. This has kind of gone off the walls a little bit, but I what I, my point being with all of this, right, is I disagree with the notion that the pronouns and everything looped in with that is good for the population at large. I think it's extremely negative, and that's why. I have the stance that I have, and I think that there's ties to uh, large medical conglomerates that would also benefit greatly from the surgeries and constant treatment and the hormones that benefit massively off of making you a permanent patient in their uh, facility, right? So I'm not saying either that all of medical is bad, but there are definitely uh, on the plastic surgery side of it that do not care about health even remotely and they're just trying to obviously make a shitload of money at really all costs even morally uh gray or completely morally disgusting still they will keep pushing it there's a money side to it there's a mental health side to it and it's like multifaceted i don't think it's a simple solution and that's why i think that if i responded to the comment uh with just words 
with text, I think that it could be misconstrued, and I think that it would be seen as disingenuous. And I'm hoping that this comment too was made in a way where it was just truly seeking information, you know, asking for from my perspective what I think. And I'm hoping too that even though I'm sure a large, a large amount of people will disagree with everything that I have to say, I'm not saying that it's going to be an extremely high percentage of total population, but there's going to be people that disagree with 100% of what I'm saying right now. They're going to say that I'm X word or Y word or Z word, and that's fine, you know? I'm, I don't really get offended by that, and if that's your opinion of what you think of me, then that's fine. It doesn't really necessarily bother me. Just know that what my goal is, is to make good for the world, and if I see no way that this can offer good to the world, then I'm going to say that, right? Like, I'm never gonna really have a muzzle and say that, uh, yeah, you know, this is good for you, but knowing full well it actually isn't. You look at the history of this kind of stuff too, I love to look at, like, history with things. There's, uh, the true mental illness side of this, right? And it was a very small amount of cases, was, uh, gender, I think it's gender dysphoria, I think is the terminology. I don't have the, the words in front of my screen right now, but it's basically where within your mind, you think that you're a guy when you're actually a woman or something like that, right? Like, biologically. And so that was something that was unbelievably uncommon, and now it seems to have picked up a lot of steam. And by that I mean it is much more popular and much more uh, mainstream. And so some can argue that that is purely because now it's more accepted, right? But it has gotten to a level where it is... I don't think it's physically possible for that growth to be natural without inspiring youth or inspiring people who just just don't have enough information to make a good uh, decision for themselves and who sadly do not have the parental structure to tell them that this is something that's not good for their health for the long term or the short term. So for the people that truly have that gender dysphoria, I feel unbelievably sorry for you because now you are grouped in with the people who are a part of the trend side of it and so now people are not even taking you seriously with that. Because the way that I kind of imagine this, even from my own perspective, right, is there was times where I was uh, experimenting with medication through a doctor, right, completely legal, and just a, just my own personal experience. There was a time where I took something, and I started to uh, I started to hallucinate things. I started to hallucinate uh, bugs crawling in and out of my skin, like hundreds of bugs. And so you're thinking to yourself at this point, right, like. And that's like full of shit. You, you, you knew that uh, you were hallucinating and that it wasn't real. And that's when it hits you, right? That from, you never know, and I, I'm, I could be over speaking this right, but you never know what something feels like truly until it actually hits you. All you can do is try to understand. So while I'm saying I don't understand what's going on with it, I try my absolute best to, similar to the uh, hallucination thing. It's like, if somebody told me that there was a dragon flying in their room, and, like, I was in the room, and I didn't see a dragon, I'd say, there isn't a dragon, you know? But if there was some, like, mental illness or some sort of thing that was causing them to hallucinate like that, now I would be much more understanding of that because of the fact that I have before. And it was something that, uh absolutely blew up my perspective in terms of trying to be more understanding of other people and their own situations. But at that same point too, if I see people, especially people that I care about, do, thing that, do things that are self-destructive, I'm not willing to uh, sit around and say, yeah, that's, that's good, keep doing that, you're fine, you know, don't worry about it. Like, I'm always one to say, you gotta get like back on your feet, you gotta keep doing the right thing, you know, what you're doing is not right. And so what I figured out is I have a lot less friends now, but that's fine. I think that that's kind of a natural progression where there are some people who are willing to uh, take the flack, for lack of a better term, because they know that their friends, the genuine friends, want them to be the best possible versions of themselves. And so I have lost a lot of... Uh, I shouldn't say lost, but lost a lot of contact with friends after I've told them some things that they're doing are self-destructive and bad for their lives, and that they need to get a hold of themselves and like really hold themselves accountable and move forward. So this has gone off on like multiple tangents at this point, but the biggest piece of it is that I'm trying to explain how my 
disagreement with the ideolo ideology of pronouns and the uh, kind of black hole that goes into is not good for the world at large. It's going to cause, and really is truly going to cause, like mass depopulation when it comes down to it because if all of the people that are doing this kind of pronoun stuff end up going through the surgery side of it, then obviously they will not be able to have kids if they're, uh, if they're like plumbing for lack of a better term is rendered useless or just for like pleasure or whatever, right? And even with that, we're not even talking about the complication side of it. If you look at the complication side of it, there's massive potential for issues and then loss of life. So it's like, for me to simplify it, which maybe it's disingenuous for me to simplify, maybe simplifying it, is this, a, is this an invasion? So simplifying it to me would be like, like super simplifying it. So just take this with a grain of salt if it bothers you, but imagine the person who's 550 pounds, right? Who's uh, eating fast food every single day. What type of person would you be? If this person was your best friend, right? They're 550 pounds, they're eating fast food every single day, and then they were complaining about the fact that they're not losing any weight or the fact that they have all these pains or the fact that their organs are in pain or the fact that their life sucks. What would you do, right? And uh, like what it comes down to is if you care about that person enough, you have to tell them that they're killing themselves with, their, with what they're doing to their body, right? And it's a hard conversation. I've had conversations like that at work. I've had conversations like that with like family and stuff like that. And at the end of the day, it's... Sometimes people just need to hear that kind of stuff as like a wake-up call. But obviously they should have the strength within themselves to never get to that point in the first place. But that's the that's the type of stuff where I truly feel like I, I've lost friends from it, but that's okay. And the same thing goes with this, right? I mean, it's a very uh, heated debate clearly on what is like right and wrong with it. And to the point of, I think... People, I'm, I'm very libertarian with this kind of stuff. I feel like as long as people are uh, fully developed brain-wise adults, you know, that if they really want to do that kind of stuff, they can. It's just, should be the bill should be fronted by them and shouldn't be some sort of taxpayer expense, right? I think that people can do whatever they want to themselves. But to act as though that we have to deny basic human biology is it's just, it's just not good for the world, man. And you look at the opportunist side from that too, so the people that are pedophiles or the people that are just also really nasty people, which I'm not saying is a one-to-one -one ratio of the people that are in this type of environment, but you gotta, you gotta understand that there are people that are gonna be opportunists about this. So you go to the things of like the men's, women's locker room, stuff like that, right? So if we start saying that it's a choice on if I'm a female or a male or whatever, when truly it is just like the biology side of it, then you're gonna have the opportunists, the pedophiles go into these spaces then, claim the, the, the holy grail of I'm actually this or this, and then they'll be able to do things in environments that they would normally be rejected from, which is also really sad. And that's not to say that, like I was saying earlier, that it's a one-to-one -one ratio of these people are like, the nasty pedophiles or whatever, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying that there are gonna be people that are opportunists and they take advantage of uh, what people are trying to do that they perceive as good. So both of these things are in Elm Street, that's good. I got these tasks complete. So for lack of a better term, I hope that answers that question. And I hope that your question that you're asking was out of genuine curiosity and not a way to try and uh, start some sort of like firestorm or something like that, because everybody does have their own beliefs and that's perfectly fine, that's fantastic. And I, I would say comfortably, I disagree with the overwhelming majority of the stuff that is being touted by uh, like mainstream media types or, you know, <clears throat> The like current like narrative, I'd say I'm almost always against it, though, or at least I'm also very critical to it. But yeah, uh, that was kind of a really long, drawn out question to answer, but I hope that answers your question. And I would also appreciate if everybody in the video here that's watching this does not uh, be mean or anything to the person that commented this. I mean, I'm not against you asking them follow-up questions or anything, but be respectful. From my understanding, this was a very, uh, a very open question.
question to ask. It did not seem like there is any malice or anything attached to it. And so I would appreciate if everybody's very civil with this and understanding that I love free speech. I love discussion. And that's really the only way to make the world a good place is to have free speech. So that's why I'm answering this question. Normally, like I wouldn't really answer it. I just kind of keep it to myself. But I feel that it's good to know other perspectives, right? I mean, I hear the other, I hear tons of the other perspective, like almost every day. So just know that if you're in the scenario where you kind of somewhat agree with me or you agree with me, there's tons of people like me. It's just a lot of times we just don't want to get into it. So, and for the same reason being is we don't want to experience the emotional visceral response from uh, the other side to it, right? Like, I love talking to people, and I love talking to people with different opinions, but it's uh, mentally exhausting when you have information, and they have information, and then it cannot just be this agree-to-disagree scenario. And that's why I love talking to people that have different perspectives that can just, at the end of the day, agree to disagree. So what I would focus on with this video as a little learning point, right, is to say, if you are in a situation like that, just, and, and you see it going absolutely nowhere, right, it might be time to just say, hey, I know you're trying to get to the best point. You're trying to get the world to the best point. I'm also trying to get the world to the best point. We clearly have a different avenue of getting there. And it's great that we can have this conversation without killing each other or without uh, threatening violence or saying mean words to each other, right? <clears throat> That's a good thing. So let's agree to disagree and move on. I think that that would save so much trouble in especially the United States right now. Oh, that's nice. Carry three tune tasks is pretty fucking good. I don't know if two cog buildings though is worth it. If I could find a one story, that'd be cool. I'll try that. I'll try to find a one story. Truly, I feel like the real uh, genuine response to these feelings that people have are uh, therapy. And therapy in a sense that is not just affirming your belief because that's not therapy, but actually countering it and trying to figure out what's going on in your head and how to uh, move forward with it. So even if it's a gen gender, you dysphoria thing i think that's the word gender dysphoria even if it's a gender dysphoria thing it's figuring out how to live with that and how to uh deal with that there are people who are like tomboys you know there are people who are like more feminine men and that's fine there's nothing wrong with that right so it's just it's just trying to understand different people and at the end of the day when you naturally disagree with people beyond belief right where there's clearly nothing good that's going to come from screaming at each other or continuing to you points and counterpoints and all that stuff. Sometimes it is truly just better to agree to disagree and then move on. Nothing wrong with that. I feel like I'm screwing up this guy's training, but that's okay. I thought I was helping him, but he's like a fucking 300 laugh cheeser. But yeah, if this is a refreshing perspective, uh, let me know down in the comments section because I feel like there's not really that many people that at least have an open mind to it. It feels like the, the two... How would I describe it? The sideism to it, right, is, and obviously it's, media is different than real life, but on the media side, it feels very uh, tribalistic, right? So if you like this as a, uh, like a change in perspective, or man, like I've only heard like the one side for fucking five years, let me know down in the comment section if you appreciate that. And also too, let me know down in the comments if you have any other questions that you want me to, uh, if you have any other questions that you want me to answer in video as well, please let me know. It can be really about any topic, I don't really care. We're playing fucking Toontown, so it doesn't really matter, right? So I gotta go to Cellbot headquarters and try to get a memo from somebody. It looks like it's a mingler invasion too. I feel like everybody that I go to, every district that I go to is an invasion. When I click on it though, it doesn't say that it's an invasion. Alright, let's see if we got it. Did we get it? Yes or no? We got it, so what HQ memo. Okay, so where do I have to go now? Back to Oak Street, Ant Farming Supplies. Let's go. Every fucking thing is a building, man. Like, what the shit is going on? I'm gonna try to take over this building, because then it's two birds with one stone. I need this task building to complete a task, and I also need uh, to take over a building. Dr. Monty Honey Bumper. I almost read that as Honey Humper. That'd be hilarious if it was Honey Humper. But he's helping me out. I greatly appreciate that. Because I could have died off of this. Unless it's just a little six, but I feel like there's going to be four uh, lower level cogs that are just chilling in the elevator afterwards. So we'll see. 
Yeah, and this guy's a cheeser, dude. 70 laugh with good gags. He's really just doing me a solid by joining this building. He has no use for doing that. Can't type. Yeah, I definitely would have died. So this guy 100% saved my life. Can we give a shout out to Dr. Monty Honey Bumper? He's bumping the honeys. Absolute tragedy. Oh, you're just gonna kill him. Oh, it did. Cool. Awesome. That's not too bad. Alright, let's go with uh, one of the old fruit pies. Alright, let's hit it with the squirt, and then that should be game, set, and match. All right, very nice, building taken over. I need another sell by HQ uh, memo. All right, I'm gonna cap the video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I know it's a little bit of a different one, especially because I kind of broke off into uh, like a bunch of tangents about my own personal beliefs or whatever. I completely understand if you disagree with every point that I bring across, but what I ask uh, most importantly is just be civil, right? So you guys did appreciate this video and in general just the commentary be sure to drop a like let me know down in the comment section if you guys have any questions about anything maybe I can make another video talking about responses in the next video so I hope you guys have a good one and peace the fuck out see you